to that screen. Okay, so we have somebody at a ski lodge and she's taking lifts and she's skiing and everything is relative. Zero is the height of the ski, lift, ski lodge, okay? So she starts outside the lodge, takes the lift up to the next landing. Um, she traveled 150 feet in 80 seconds. So you should be right here at 80 and 150 feet for your first point. Next, she had to wait 60 seconds for a free seat on lift two. So 20, 40, 60, she's still at this 150 feet above the ski lodge. She took lift two to the top of the monster. This trip took another 80 seconds to climb another 150 feet to the top. So 20, 40, 60, 80, now she's at 300 feet. It took her 40 seconds to get to the edge, right? Scoot, scooting over there to the edge before she's gonna go down the ski hill. It took her 20 seconds to finish at a height 50 feet below the lodge. So in this next 20 seconds, very narrow, she's down here now at 280, negative 150. How are we doing so far? Good. Then it took her um, 10 seconds to ski down 100 feet to get to the next lift. She waited 30 seconds before she could grab a seat. It took 60 seconds to get back up to the lodge on the ski lift. Okay, so this is what your graph should look like. All right, moving right along. What quantity describes the, t the above represented, described above represented, is represented by the independent time, right? That's our, that's our x value. Dependent is height. What ordered pair is the x-intercept? Well, there's two. This should actually be like 278, right? Because I forgot it was going by 20s. So we're like at 278 or 380. Both of them at zero because that's what x-intercept means. The y-intercept is at zero, zero, according to our graph, right? That's the only thing that crosses the y-axis is where she started at the ski lift. Right there, zero, zero. Correctly represent one region on the graph where the relation is increasing. So I wrote down three different possibilities. It's increasing between 0 and 80. It's increasing between 140 and 220. And it's increasing between 320 and 380. Okay, that just means those are the up, right? It's increasing here, increasing here, increasing here. So any one of those could have been your answer. You don't have to have all three. It just says one region. Correctly represent one region where the relation is decreasing. So between seconds 260 and 280, it's quickly decreasing. Or between 280 and 290, right, when she had to go back down to that third ski lift. How are we doing? I think that's like crazy fast. Pretty fast, yeah. I don't know how, how realistic this scenario is, but we'll just pretend it's super normal. Okay. Then it says, correctly represent one region on the graph where the relation is positive. So I picked this whole region between 0 and like 279. This positive just means it's above our, x, our y axis. So it could have been all of this. Above our y axis? That's what positive is, yes. Can you accept anything in that? I'll accept anything within that. I just put this whole section. Well, it's a yes, but above zero on the y axis, but yes, oh, okay. yes, I see what you're saying, yes. Negative would have been between 278, 279, and 380, or you could have just picked any section between that. I would accept anything, and as long as it's actually a negative y value, we're good. Kenzie, you okay? Okay. Do you see all right? Yeah. Yeah, 100%? I think so. Mm hmm Okay. Addie? So how come for um, the negative relation, you could put 380, but for the positive, you couldn't put, like, well, I thought you said that zero couldn't be negative. 
negative or positive. So why would it be 3h that I'm not doing that? So this is this this is the x value, right? Mm -hmm. So it's just it's just considered anything that would be under. I mean, I guess I'll accept either way. Like if you had okay, if so you, you had that 379, that'd be fine. Okay, that's. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to count that wrong. Now, if you had like three, you know, if you said that this was negative or this was positive, I might be a little concerned. Oh, yeah. But as long as I know you understand the basic idea, we're good. Okay, that's part of the problem too. It's like I don't do multiple choice tests. So there are some variations of answers I can take. If this was multiple choice, you would know exactly which one to pick. Yeah. Right? Okay. All right. Um, let's see here. Absolute maximum. I just picked 220, 300 because it's up in this region here. You could have picked any ordered pair that would represent this area of the graph. And then what does it mean? At 220 seconds, she was 300 feet above the lodge. Right? Yes, Elizabeth. Can I have a question with you? Did you just put like a high, high key graph at a high elevation? Um, I want you to be very specific. Yeah. Yes. So tell me, what does the 220 stand for? What does the 300 stand for? Yes. Great question. Oh, so, would you like to uh, explain <coughs> me that uh, Bless at, you. Two, at 220 seconds she was at, she was at this? Mm-hmm. Yep. But if you chose 240 seconds, so you would have 240. I mean, it would be the same scenario. Okay. Relative uh, maximum would be 140.50. Excuse me, 140.150. It's still considered like a peak, but it's not the highest peak, right? So that's why it's a relative, okay? It's still considered like one of my peaks. It's not a dip value, but it's not the highest. Is everybody okay with absolutes and relatives? Yeah? What is the interval? No, that's the point. Quick question. So the, the interval would be, I'm probably just going to have you guys just write the ordered pair. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, just cross out that whole interval thing. I don't, I don't really like that. I'll fix it for the quiz. It won't say interval. It'll say what does it represent. There we go. So we just write like the same thing that we did for the one above. Okay. Yep. So then absolute minimum could be any ordered pair that is down here. For the relative maximum, do you have to explain something there? Um I mean, in, in theory, you should be able to, right? Like, we'll see how we'll see what happens when I go back and look at the quiz this afternoon. Yes, sir. Can you say uh, 320 seconds? Well, actually, you don't say uh, at 33 seconds she was out from negative 100 feet, or do you say she was 100 feet below the lodge? So it's not really negative 100 feet. We're not talking about sea level. We're talking about the lodge, right? So this negative 100 stands for feet below the lodge, not below sea level. If it was sea level, would we have put it on That's fine. Level? Yep, yep, yep. And then down here, identify a relative minimum, state it, the interval. So let's go ahead and cross out state the interval. Just write the word represent. Lux, you okay? Okay. You sure? Okay. So I'm going to say 270, negative 50. No, I'm sorry. 280, negative 50. Okay, we're done talking about that graph. Is everybody good here?
Doing all right, Vince? Yeah? Ava, you okay over there? Okay. All right. This is very similar to what we did on Friday. We've got Susie. She's going home on her, on her way home after school. What did this graph tell us? What does it tell us is happening? We had something similar to this on Friday, one of the graphs on Friday. Maybe you guys didn't get this far, but take a second to look at it. Avery, what do you think? Uh, she's, she's going home, but then gets distracted and remembers that she forgot something and starts going uh, away from her house in the summer and then gets distracted again and then starts punching her book. Yep. So she's on her way home, and then she gets distracted, and then she realizes she needs to go back to school, then she gets distracted again. I didn't and know that she did that. So, um, so this is how far away. So home would be down here at the zero, yeah. right? So it says she's on her way home from after school up here in this part. So on her way home. We don't have to be all the distracted parts, but we can say um, return to school. And we talked on Friday about some things you could possibly need to return for, right? Phone. Phone. It says all you need for is just on the way home to your return back. Math binder to prepare for quiz. Yeah? You guys would totally come back, right? Yeah. Actually. Well, I don't know if you said like what she was doing. Like no. Over at, like, seven just, and just as long as you know she doesn't make it home. Okay. She's back at school. I was really confused. I like thought that it was the next day, but then I looked at the minutes and I was like, oh, it's not ten minutes. Right. So what might be happening between three and seven minutes? She's talking. Sure. Chit chatting. Oh. Chit chatting with a friend. Or maybe she just started to um, FaceTime with a friend. Not if she forgot a phone. Where is she at the 10 minute mark? School. School. Sad face. Okay. You guys are going to do awesome.